man stopped from defiling the Torah in Sweden despite permitted Quran burning. Okay. But as I go through this, hold your disbelief because there's more than, you know, at first appears. Recently, the Swedish authorities reportedly denied giving a protester permission to burn the Torah in front of the Israeli embassy as a protest a week after far-right Danish-Swedish act activist Ramsmus Paladan burned the Quran in front of the Turkish embassy in Sweden. The protester is identified as an Egyptian writer living in Sweden. He stated that he wanted to demonstrate that Sweden has double standards regarding freedom of expression and religion as free speech laws were used to justify the Quran burning. He told the Swedish newspaper, Nongish Narrator, I don't know how to pronounce anything in Swedish. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good attempt. That's a good attempt. You know, then he understands. You're making fun that, of Swedish people, whatever. Yeah. yeah, I am. <laughs> He understands that burning holy books is not permissible, but he wanted to, quote, create a discussion. A rabbi involved in interfaith work told the Jerusalem Post that the Swedish Muslim community leaders also helped discourage the protester from burning the Torah. However, the Egyptian writer contradicted the rabbi's statement by saying, quote, I will still carry out my actions. It is important to me. I will submit a new application next week. So let's go through this because i want Wait, to be clear about something through this, before we go through this people are calling out hypocrisy i think mariam and young atheists are calling out hypocrisy well or but i think they're wrong i think sweden has been consistent here it was the muslims who stopped it it was in the swedish government right sorry, am there's... i right am i wrong <laughs> Dr. Rip does the same. Susanna, the queen of accents today. When I need that, I have a feeling Susanna pronounced that Swedish absolutely right. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, that's cool. So in terms of these no. accusations of hypocrisy, before it's we wrong. make judgments, I need to give you more information right. because our lovely editor D and does a lot of research on these, our team. And then I also looked at many different sources regarding the story. And there is contradictory accounts. There are contradictions here, people. So, guys, this is why you come to Atheist Republic because different angles and different reports have been investigated by our team and they bring it all here together and compare it. Amazing. Exactly. So, there are some reports where the Israeli embassy, the Israeli embassy, say that they interceded to make sure that the Torah burning does not happen. There are accounts from this rabbi guy who says that he and some major Muslim leaders approached this guy who planned to do this and said, convinced him not to do it. And that, you know, they talked things through and that they've decided that this isn't the right way to do things, da, da, da. And that he's not going to do it. However, and then there, there are other stories saying it's not that the Swedish government did not permit this. It's that there was some other like technicality that didn't allow it to happen at this date. Not actually related to burning the Torah. And regardless, this guy says that he's going to he's going to sign up to do it again at a later date. He's like, oh, it just do got it. postponed. It do just got it. Postponed. Do it. Do it. I support this so that people bec because a lot of people came out and said like hypocrisy, like m the Muslims, you know, um, are getting it. But no, Sweden, Sweden. Okay, is this part of the story? Do we know that they they gave the approval? This I part do not true. know that yet. I do okay. not know that yet. Okay, I hope it happens so that we could be like, see consistency. So we'll see. We'll see. Let's let's keep this on because there were a lot of there were a lot of when they burned the Quran in Sweden. There's so many Muslim content creators that were like, "Oh, you didn't let this happen to Torah, would you? You didn't let this happen to Torah. You guys like hypocrites." And this is only about the Quran. Only only free speech is conditional, all right? And I'm like, "You're right." I say to Muslims, like, I, I mean, if it was true, which is not true. But if this is true, your concern is correct. Burn the Torah. People in Sweden, burn the Torah. Okay? I encourage this. Okay? In fact, in fact, 
Jewish people in Sweden burn a Torah, okay? Because I don't want people to use this as a as a way mm. to be anti-Semitic, okay? Um, you know, so burn the Quran along with the Torah, along with the New Testament, along with I don't know God delusion, whatever. Um, but yeah, I went to people to see how free speech works, how free expression works. This is not about selecting or being biased towards a group of people. This is just about letting people express themselves in harmless ways, right? Um, again, also the person that burned the Quran in Sweden, we do not endorse the guy. We do endorse his rights to free speech, but that guy is a dick. That guy is an a-hole. That guy is a bigot, and we do not endorse him. We do not like him. We do not like his views. But we pro we protect his right to freedom of speech and freedom of expression, and we also protect. We also defend the right for freedom of expression of Muslims in Sweden or anybody who wants to burn a Torah or anything else. I do, however, suggest people stop with the burnings as I have, uh, because I'm afraid that would that be dangerous and you might burn yourself or burn the house or something. I think it's safer if you just tear the Quran apart and spit on it and then go like this and throw it. It looks it looks more disrespectful, okay? And it's safer. It seems a lot safer and it's also better for the environment, okay? Just tear it apart, spit on it, turn it into a crumble, just I like how away. you're like, it maximizes the disrespect. <laughs> it maximizes the disrespect, okay? And it also is, yeah. And it also is safer and better for the environment okay oh my god we have oh Se selva just gifted five memberships to five people including wow, myself amazing thank you selva yes so so zagros me and higgs boson and doorknob head and darko were just received membership and um yeah That's thank so you kind. I have I have one thing I wanted to say. So this guy said that he was doing this to make a comment about the hypocrisy of free expression, which I think is a very pertinent comment to make. And it's a lot of the reason why we do similar desecrations. It's basically like almost exactly the same line of thinking. And he also said that he wanted to do this to raise awareness about the persecution of Palestinians. Um, so I'll be very interested to see if this ends up proceeding. I want to try to follow up on this. Um, and it also reminded me, Armin, do you remember the time where you, me, and Rivka desecrated? We we each ripped the 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 Bible, the Torah, the Bhagavad Gita, the Quran, and your book. Yes. Yes, and my book. We burned my book. I mean, we tore apart my book. Yes, we did. And spit on it as well. Yes. I actually, when I did my Quran burning, I burned my own book that I wrote, Why There Is No God, bestseller on Amazon. Go get it. Um, it's actually free down here if you subscribe. If you, yeah, there's a link down here that you can get it for free. Um, but yeah, even if you get it for free, please leave a review on Amazon. But yeah, so I burned that to show that, you know, burning book doesn't mean the hatred towards any group of people because if it meant that, then I hate myself, right? So, yeah, we did that. We, we burned the Gita. We tore apart the Gita, the Quran, the Torah, the Bible, and my book. Uh, by the way, people are asking about memberships. Just so, just so that you know, me and Elliot are secularity. We, we have Q&As. And if you are a YouTube member, of, if you're a member of our channel, then you get to come up live on air and talk to me and um, secularity and ask your questions live on air. So consider becoming a member. Yeah. And you also support Atheist Republic. You support the work that we do. You support our community. It wouldn't be possible without the people that you support us. But more importantly, you get access to our emojis, our special oh, yeah. personalized emojis. People who are members, please drop the emojis in the chat because they're pretty awesome. <laughs> so Young Atheist is saying my your book is amazing. 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 And this is the book, Why There Is No God. Okay. 20 simple responses to common arguments for the existence of God. Okay. And again, this book is, even though it's a bestseller on Amazon, it's available to you for free. Link in the description. So there's that. We also have translations of the book in Arabic, Kurdish, and Persian for free on our website. Yes. Yes. On atheistrepublic.com. Mm -hmm, so there's mm -hmm, that. Mm -hmm, yeah. mm -hmm. French coming soon. Oh, really? I forgot about that. That's right. Yeah, but that one we can't put it on our website because it's a publisher who contacted me and they have to sell it. So, yeah. 
Get my best-selling book, Why There Is No God, for free. Click on the link for it in the description.